uh, fun time. And I'm here today uh, with our, our first guest. We'll get to her in just a second, Sandy Russell. She's the owner of Made in the Shade Tent Wheeling. Um, but first, I want to remind you, if you're watching live on Facebook, you can leave a comment in the comments section right down here. And I can see them right on my screen. So I can answer uh, any questions uh, that you might have for me or my guest today. You can do that uh, towards the end of the show. So I uh, will bring on our guest now. Uh, she is the owner of Made in the Shade uh, Wheeling, and that is Sandy Russell. Hi, Sandy. I'm doing well. Thanks for joining us today. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you. Uh, we were just talking before the show got started. Uh, we kind of looking like sunshine's coming through a little bit. That's that's good news. Yeah, I hope so. It's uh, It'll be nice to get out there and walk and relieve some pent-up stress and anxiety. <laughs> be nice to get out of the house, right? Oh, you're not kidding. I can walk my dogs finally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so made in, made in the Shade Wheeling. This is a well-known business in the Ohio Valley. You've been around a while. It's a go-to place to get your windows tinted in your car, but you also offer a lot of other services. Can you tell me about that? Yes. Um, well, let me um, elaborate a little bit on our window tinting. We not only do automotive, but we also do residential and commercial tinting. And in that, we have several lines available. We have um, your regular dyed film, your ceramic film. Um, your decorative film and your security film, which helps really in these days with um, uncertainty about, you know, break-ins. Um, but along with that, we also have a full line of automotive accessories. Um, that's for cars, trucks, vans, SUVs. Uh, one of our main distributors is WeatherTech, and I'm sure everybody's heard of WeatherTech. We have their... Um, Floor, excuse me, floor liners, which are more popular than the floor mats. Uh, they are laser cut. We also have Nerf bars. Um, we do tonneau covers. X-Tang is a very popular uh, distributor of mine. They um, have a product called the Trifecta Trifold, and it's very affordable. Fits short bed, long beds. Um, we also offer vent visors, which go over your windows. When it rains, you can get a little bit of air into your vehicle. Um, bug collectors aren't that very popular anymore because there's a new product out called paint protection. And paint protection is put on um, the vehicle. There's a basic package and a deluxe package. But what it is, it's a clear film that's installed on your hood, your fenders, um, mainly your bumper, anywhere that you can get rock chips. And um, that will save you a lot of paint jobs. And it's affordable also. Um, and then we also offer automotive detailing. Our detailing is what we call, we kind of mold it around what you feel you can afford and what you feel your car needs. We do washes only. Um, we call them mini details, and that includes the vacuuming and preserving. Um, preserving is like an armor all. However, we use all 3M or Mother's products. Um, we also offer a wash and wax, and that includes your windows, tires, chrome, rubber. The um, other packages are a complete detail, which is a full line on the interior and exterior. If it's um, carpeting, of course, we clean all the carpets with an extractor. Um, if it's leather, we condition and treat it with a leather treatment. We usually use Lexol. And I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with Lexol. That's what um, like a lot of the baseball players use to keep their gloves soft. Um, in, in our three packages, we have a complete, a grand, and an exclusive package. Um, our exclusive package is the top of the line with the best film available on the market. So, like I said, we do have strict, not strict pricing, but we do have pricing set up. But if you wanted to omit something or include something, we can do that as well. And our motto, um, it, our mission statement is um, to have 100% customer service. Um, Barry and I, who was my husband and actually started this business we always felt that if the customer will trust you and you offer a great product and do the work to your best ability 
and make the price affordable, people will follow you. So I kind of have instilled that in all the people that work with me. Um, we're a team. We don't, I don't really consider them employees. I consider them my team so that we can all work together for the same cause. I probably talked so, too much. I mean, for that one question. <laughs> no, you were, you were ready. You were prepared. <laughs> so Sandy, what's the situation right now with a lot of things closed down, a lot of things, uh, there's a, a lot of uncertainty in the future. Um, somebody needs to get the car washed or detailed or uh, they need window tinting or, or, or any of your other services. How can they get a hold of you? Can they come into the store? Are you open for uh, cer certain services right now? Nick, actually, no, we closed our doors on um, March 24th, and that was stipulated by the governor and, of course, by the president. Um, I just wanted to make sure that my customers were safe, my employees were safe, and I was safe. Even though I do have a 4,000-square-foot shop um, and we do do a lot of drop-offs so customers don't wait, my technicians are in a room by themselves, and they're more than 15 feet apart, and I am in the office. I still don't want that interaction because you don't know if when a person brings in their car, if they sneezed or if they coughed. Even though we would sanitize it and spray it with Lysol, it's just too much uh, to take for granted, and our health is more important, and the lives of others are more, more important. But I am running my business through my phone, um, which is 304-233-1777. And I have that set up for any questions. And I am also scheduling appointments. I am booking appointments for the week of May 11th. And hopefully we will be back by then. If not, um, I will contact the customers and hopefully set up another time. Or if we go back before, then that would be... Um, great also. However, it depends on the welfare of the people. And I would also call them and set up an earlier appointment. But our hours will probably be the same as they were in the past. We are there Monday through, excuse me, Monday through Friday. We are there 930 until five and then Saturdays 930 until three. Okay. And I'm watching some of the uh, the comments roll through here too. And I usually get to the questions at the end, but but Barb just brought up a question that I wanted to ask you as well. Um, you talked uh, in the beginning about not only automotive window tinting, but but residential window tinting too. Explain that to me. I, I've never I've never heard of that. Well, residential tinting, um, we have tried to make people more knowledgeable about. Um, even though direct sunlight is good and it makes you feel good, you have that vitamin D coming in. Um, if you notice like a lot of your drapery, window treatment, your artwork, um, your flooring, if you have hardwood floors, over time you will notice that that will fade. I had an area rug in my dining room and I have very light wood and I was shocked when I moved the carpet because my dining room has direct sunlight. So the film that we put on, um, we have several different shades and it's from light, which is like a 70 percent. We also have clear and then it goes in stages of medium dark to very dark. And what that does is you can still see out uh, the trees will still be green. The sky will still be blue. However, people will not be able to see in. Um, it will be like a mirror reflection type. And it's also good for, say, for instance, if you want to watch your TV or your computer screen, it will help deflect the sun and it will make it um, better for you, your eyes. It's also good for security purposes. Um, and then we also have decorative films that people like to use that in their bathrooms or if they have glass doors. It just makes it more appealing and makes uh, the bathroom pop. And we've now, done is that a many... popular option. Pardon me. Sorry, I was just going to say, is that a, is that a popular option? Is that something that that people do with their entire house, or at least some maybe the front of the house? Yes, a lot of people do uh, their whole house if they have specific issues with the sun throughout the whole house, or you can do the front only. Some people, they only want to do one or two windows in the front of their house, but I try to tell them that curb appeal, um, it, it would 
it would be better to do the whole front of the house because when you're looking at the house, you see one side tinted dark and the other side is not tinted. Then it looks a little odd. But yes, you can do any amount of windows that you would like. A lot of people like their storm doors tinted only um, because they're if they have a color on their door, um, the door will start to fade. So we can also do that. Now, what? Here's a question I had. What is the legality of tinted windows in vehicles. I, I've heard people talk about this and I never understood what, what the thing was. Is there like a certain darkness you're allowed to have um, in certain states uh, for your vehicle? Yes, um, every state has a law. Um, I am involved with the uh, International Window Film Association throughout the United States. And I have a um, form for every state in the United States on the legalities. So West Virginia, uh, what is popular and what they do like on your windows, it's recommended, which is a 35%. However, when you purchase a vehicle, there is always a tint on the glass from the manufacturer. It doesn't look tinted, and a lot of people say my windows aren't tinted, but it is actually a 70%. So when you put aftermarket tint on the glass, it does drop the number. So because of that, we, our manufacturers have created a 39% for West Virginia. So when you put 39 on top of your existing glass, it becomes 35. Um, and, you know, as of West Virginia, we have laws as far as inspection and all of the shops have tint meters, so they're very strict on that. And when people come in, I do have a display. I show them what's legal. However, I cannot force people to go legal. Um, a lot of people have issues with their eyes, uh, skin sensitivity, cancer. And those people come in with a note from their doctor that stipulates they can have any darkness on their car or van or truck and then they will not get sighted and they can also get their car inspected. And as far as um, Ohio, Ohio is very strict on the front windows. They like a 50%. So when I'm talking numbers, the higher the number, the lighter the tint. And then also in Ohio, you can go as dark as you want in the back, meaning back doors and back window. Now, Pennsylvania, they're in our tri-state area. They are not allowed anything at all on their windows, although we do do a lot of people from the Pennsylvania area, and most of them go a 35%, which is medium. So the main thing I want to tell people is it is best to go what the law stipulates because then you won't have to worry about getting ticketed or failing an inspection. Then you have to rip it off. You get a um, failed sticker on your front windshield, and then you have to pay it, pay for it to be removed. And then if you wanted it tinted again, of course, to the legal limit, you'd have to pay for that again. So it's just a waste of money. And I, you know, we try to really help people and make our um, service affordable. So that's just wasting money. And that's something you don't want to do in these dire times. You know, I'm learning all kinds of stuff today. Oh, good. I hope you, I hope you learn. I hope we take your windows in your home. I, I had no idea it was that much of a thing. That's, see, uh, and that's why I like, that's why I like to go to an expert. That's why well, when I don't, I don't, that's why when I don't know anything about something, which is most things, I go to an expert like you, Sandy, that you can, you can set me straight on this. This is good. Well, I've been with it. Um, we've done this business for since 1981. My husband was from California and I helped him um, launch the business. And then we brought it to West Virginia, where I'm from, um, back in 94. And then I worked with him off and on early on. And then I decided to get a job. Um, but then I loved the business so much. And then the people he had in the office would be calling me 10 to 15 times a day and I couldn't do my <laughs> job. So I kind of said, Barry, I'm just going to work with you. That way I won't have to answer all these questions. So it was fun. Um, him and I both had different business views and, um, he did the 
tinting side of it, the installation, and I did the office. So we kind of, um, it was good because he was good at what he did, and hopefully I'm okay at what I do. All right, one more thing from the comments here I want to throw at you before we wrap up here. Kathy says, Made of the Shade, Sandy, Sophie, and Oliver are the best. <laughs> Yeah, I bring my puppies with me to work. Um, oh, that's your dogs. To, yeah, yeah. I used to bring Marbles. Um, Marbles was our, um, he was my buddy, and he was always at the shop. The customers loved him. Actually, people would come in to see Marbles, and they wouldn't even want a service, <laughs> which is eh, pretty good. But when you hey, have a dog it's a that. business mascot. <laughs> Yeah. When they come in to see your dog and not see you, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. That's yeah, okay. but I do have um, Sophie now. She's a puppy. And Oliver, I rescued him from the shelter. So, um, yeah, they they are a very – they're a joy to be around, and they have helped me tremendously being at home. So, yeah, I love those dogs. And I know there's a lot of pen owners out there also that love their pets. So well, everybody good. Sandy, come and see Sophie and Oliver. <laughs> Let's see Sophie and Oliver and say hi to Sandy while you're there, too. Of course. <laughs> Sandy, thanks so much for joining us today on Split Screen. Made in the shade tint.com. And uh, she's making appointments for May now. Uh, fingers crossed we get to stick to all of those and, and get, get some uh, service done to your vehicle. Thanks so much, Sandy. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. It was a pleasure. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. All right, that is split screen today. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, thanks, Sandy, for joining us today on the show, madeintheshadetint.com. You can find out more about the business. If you would like to see your business featured on split screen, send us a message at Love OD. Find us on Facebook and also online. We will be back with you again on Monday for a brand new episode of split screen with yours truly. Thanks so much for joining. Have a great weekend.